this video I'm going to show you the various components that we purchased and have arrived for building our solar power system. First, the solar panels. We ordered three 100 watt solar panels. These are the mono crystalline variety. There are two more of these. They came shipped together in a slightly larger box than this one. The frame has holes already in it for mounting. We also got the brackets. Okay, so there's three of those. Renogy, that's where we ordered these from. This is the controller that we got. It is a Commander 40 amp solar charge controller. There's two different kinds of controllers. This particular one is supposed to be more efficient at regulating the charge of your batteries and solar system. And these are the things that came in the box with it. We've got some fuses. This is a remote so that you can turn this on without having to possibly get into the cabinet or whatever where you have it. These wires. These are the connectors for putting your solar panels, tying them in together. This is an inline fuse. These also, these are little fuse boxes. This is what goes from the panels on the roof to the solar charge controller. It's got these plugs on one end and then the other end is just bare wire. These are the cables for hooking the battery to the charge controller. In this box are the Z brackets. The brackets look like this and these slots go on to those holes that are on the back of the solar panel for mounting. Also comes with some hardware. There are, I believe, four boxes of these. This is a MT50 tracer meter, and it is specifically for the Commander series and ViewStar series charge controllers from Renogy. I read on the internet that there are other ones on sale that look like this, except they don't have Renogy on them, and they don't work necessarily with the controller, so you need to make sure that everything that you get is compatible. In the box is the cable to attach it to the controller some hardware. Here's the unit itself. It's a digital display that helps you to monitor and deal with your solar controller. Missing from this equation is the battery. The battery is on back order, so it is being shipped separately. Hopefully we will be happy with the system. The next step is to mount it and Dave is currently working on the rack. There's an aluminum roof rack that we are creating to put on the roof of the truck camper onto which the solar panels will be mounted.